So in this video, I want to talk about both Hoppy and Turbo, starting with Hoppy, because some coins don't care what the price of Bitcoin is doing, and Hoppy is one of them. If we take a look at Bitcoin right now, Bitcoin is sitting at 60,400. This thing had dipped below 60,000. We actually touched $59,000, and Hoppy doesn't seem to care. Right now, Hoppy just continues to trek up. Now, by the way, right now I have trade assist pulled up. It lets you know when there's a bullish and bearish momentum happening in certain coins like Bitcoin, like Copy, like Turbo, Resistance Dog, and a lot of others. So if you want to take a look at trade assist, this indicator, um, the link is going to be in my description down below. It also lets you know when there's a good time to buy and sell certain coins. There's also going to be a link to my Patreon down below for anyone that wants to know what I'm buying and when I'm buying. And you can find some exclusive content over there also. But let's get into Hoppy here. So if we take a look at what's going on with Hoppy, right now the market cap is at 58.14 million. Okay. And if we zoom in a little bit, what you're going to notice is yesterday, well, depending on when you watch this video actually, but we can see that Hoppy reached on October, what is this, October 2nd, Hoppy went as high as $74 million market cap. $74 million market cap. It's all time high, 87, 88, let's call this $88 million market cap. So it's inching closer and closer to its all time high, regardless of what's going on with Bitcoin and crypto. Some coins don't care. Some coins just have its own set of rules. And right now, that's the way that it's kind of looking for looking like on Hoppy, like Hoppy's just doing its thing, doesn't care what the overall crypto market is doing. It continues to make its way back up, which is very, very impressive. Very impressive. Because if you to get this thing at the beginning of even if you got it all the way back here, September 15th, at a $20 million market cap, September 15th, you would have been really nice in profits. You would have 3x, you, know, you would have, yeah, from from 20 mil to 70 mil, yeah, you would have more than 3x your investment. So that is good. That is very good what's going on there. Um, if we take a look at the indicator, let's see, a buy zone was fired October 1st, okay. And then it says that we've got a bullish momentum that's going on on Hoppy, which was fired on October 3rd. So yeah, things are looking, but a bullish momentum was actually fired. Actually, I'm on the one hour time frame. Let's go over to the four hour and see how, what it's saying here. So a bullish momentum was fired on September 20th on Hoppy. And yeah, obviously, things have been looking pretty good. But things are looking good for Hoppy. If we take a look at their Twitter account, this person tweeted, Hoppy is about to break all time high, $100 million market cap loading. It's possible. It, the way that it's moving, it's 1000% possible. At this point, I'm actually going to be surprised if Hoppy doesn't reach at least a $100 million market cap. I will actually be very surprised. Because, like I mentioned, it's literally doing its own thing. Doesn't seem to care about anything. People are just pouring into this because clearly they believe in this project. And this is actually just the beginning. Because if you take a look at like the amount of exchange listings that Hoppy has, it's not that much. I think it's only got like a few. Let's take a look here. How many exchange listings? It's at 494 on Coin Market Cap. So. Um, let's see, Mexi, Bing X, Bimart, XT, Weeks. Yeah, so still lots of potential left here. Still lots of exchange listings that could potentially happen, which will definitely skyrocket this price because it's already looking very, very bullish. So yeah, that's Hoppy. Let's go over Turbo right now and see how Turbo is looking. So Turbo is sitting at $336 million market cap. Let's see. Let's take a look here on Turbo for a second. So on the day, Turbo is down. So Turbo is down almost 5% on the day. In the last seven days, Turbo, Turbo is down over 21%. So Turbo seems to be following the market right now 
which kind of sucks. But when you get up there with a bigger market cap, even though it's only 316 million, it ten things tend to trade alongside the market. And Hoppy's got a much lower market cap, so I guess sometimes these lower market cap coins just goes off and do its own thing, especially when there's a lot of hype around it. But $360 million market cap, well, that's what it says here on coin market cap, but over on Dex Tools it says 330. Let's see, yeah, 336 million market cap over here on, on Dex Tools. But yeah, Turbo is. It's, it's given back a lot of its gains from its recent high because we can see, let's zoom in a little bit here. So we can see that Turbo had reached all the way up here, 500 million market cap, and now it's at 338. So it's given back a lot of its gains, which is very unfortunate. That being said, I am still bullish on Turbo. Um, regardless of the price action, I think that Turbo is going to still do great things. Right now, correction has to happen sometimes. Nothing just goes up in a straight line. So I'm not worried about Turbo. I do think it's going to hold around this area where it's at right now. If it, the market does continue to bleed, I am really hoping this is not going to happen. But worst case scenario, we're coming all the way back down, guys. If the market continues, if, if Turbo continues to follow the market and Bitcoin gets under 59,000, gets like 50K, we could potentially come all the way back down to 230 million market cap. I am hoping that does not happen. But yeah, let's just hope that does not happen. But um, if we take a look at their Twitter account, they've got a new listing that's coming up. Uh, this is coins.ph. Philippines, I think it said. Yeah, one of the Philippines top crypto exchanges, coins.ph. So they've got another listing, not surprised there. They've got, they've probably got almost every exchange there is in crypto at this point. <laughs> so it's kind of crazy. But yeah, Turbo, chart's not looking that great. It looks like it's in a free fall, but eventually things will bounce back nothing goes up forever and nothing goes down forever we know that it's got a floor around 233 so i don't expect it to break 233 and this is worst case scenario right now i am hoping that the current price where it's at right now holds up that's what i am hoping if this price holds up then i think that we're gonna break through the the recent high of 507 million. But if it doesn't hold up, yeah, we could come all the way back down to $230 million market cap. But I am hoping that it doesn't do that. But we're gonna have to wait a little bit and see right now, because Bitcoin is looking kind of bearish, unfortunately. So we're gonna see how things play out. But that's what I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Check out a few of the links that I have down below. And until next time, take care.